going on guys welcome back to another pickup video let's get started let's start with the star wars stuff we'll knock this out of the way real quick i picked up the vintage collection Jin urso i didn't have any plans to really start collecting this line again but i have this thing for rogue one i really like rogue one and i like the toys so i probably will buy every rogue one figure that comes on the vintage collection card and then from solo i picked up malak it looks pretty sweet you probably can't see it the glare but this is Malak I did see solo for those of you that saw solo it wasn't perfect I'm not gonna spoil anything I really enjoyed it I had a lot of fun with solo more fun than I had with the last Jedi I like the costume design of solo I think the characters look great I like Malak I like the crazy big helmet and the blue robes that he wears it's just a cool looking figure so glad to pick him up moving on to Transformers I entirely blame Tom from Pizarro's pieces for these Dinobots because a while back he posted a picture. Did I see his picture first or maybe I saw it in his video? Either way, he uh, had shown some of the Power of the Primes Dinobots that he picked up and I thought they looked awesome. It totally took me back to when I was a kid and I, I had a couple of the Dinobots growing up. They were my favorite Transformers so I decided I was going to uh, track all these bad boys down and try and complete the Dinobots. We have Slash who is the like little raptor guy. I think he looks awesome. It definitely harkens back to the vintage line. He's pretty common to find in my neck of the woods. This was actually the first one I got. So Slash, pretty sweet. And then the Triceratops of the bunch, I picked up Slug. Slug was one that I had as a kid, which was kind of a hand-me-down from my cousin. Once again, just harkens back to that vintage and that's what grabs at me. That's what pulls me in, Transformers. Damn you, Power of the Primes. But on the back here, it shows a sweet action pose in a robot form, shows them in the Dinobot form. So that's Slug. Probably my favorite now is Swoop. I don't know what it is about Swoop. Maybe it's just Pterodactyls. I really like the Pterodactyl. So this is Swoop, once again, robot form and Dinobot form on the back. I mean, the packaging is awesome. Look at this card art on the top, if you can see that. You probably can't because it's probably blurry. But the card art is awesome. Love it. Love the colors on Swoop too, awesome. And then the last Dinobot, of course, I, I kind of thought he would be a little harder to track down, but it didn't take me too long. And that's the Almighty Grimlock. Awesome looking figure. He's got a really nice bulky robot form, which I like, and the, the uh, Dinobot form looks great too. Just really happy to add these guys in. I gotta say, Grimlock and Swoop are probably my favorite ones. I made one last trip to, um, Toys R Us. I shouldn't say last. I'm probably going to go again. I made another trip to Toys R Us. Uh, this Toys R Us is a little bit further away from where I live. Um, we want to see what they had. And I found this for half off. So, ugh, how am I not going to pick this up? 25 bucks I paid for this. So this is Bullseye. This is uh, the Toy Story Signature Collection. Uh, can't beat it for half off. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode of Pickups. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.